and my emo and my goth and my punk or am I all three? I know I'm not a scene kid, so shut the fuck up, Jenny. Emmy Sakai? I haven't heard that name in years. That hurt like a bitch. I recently got my eyebrow pierced. Lots of things have changed. My hair is still short. And it's been like 17 different colors since I last made a video. And I've changed my name like three times this year. That was fun. It's an adventure. I'm growing up. All that fun shit that everyone doesn't want to do, but they have to do anyway. As everyone knows already, I've been super inactive on most all social media. Yeah, it's just I don't I don't feel it. I don't find joy in things anymore, which is really typical for my type. So now we get around to the question we all ask ourselves. Do you have to be depressed to be an emo YouTuber? The answer is very simple. You don't even have to be depressed to be emo. You just have to be in touch with your feels. I know lots of really happy, go lucky emo kids who are like little bundles of joy. It's not about like, oh, I don't want to cut myself and die. It's about feeling free to express yourself and just be who you are. But you don't gotta be depressed to be an emo kid. Everyone's like, oh, that's so emo. You cry in class. Well, yeah, I did cry in class, but that's not the point here. I'm, I'm a stereotype. Am I even my own person, or is, am I just emo-ness made into a person? Like, don't even have free will? Simple crisis! Well, all emo jokes are the same. It's boring. I think we're all like, genos, yeah. You're like, we're all just making jokes about killing ourselves and shit. I'm trying really hard not to do that. You're just normalizing suicidal thoughts, and like, that's not a good thing, but I'm still gonna laugh, because I still do it. Stop it. Get some help. I feel like that was kind of off topic, but it's kind of exactly on topic, too. I don't even watch emo YouTubers. I just watch the meme people, and I'm really out of breath. Davey, you're really heavy. Look at this big old belly. Is that a sponsorship I see? Who the fuck would sponsor me? My name is Emmy. I'm so funny. I have a lot of fun in my shirt. That's why my name is Emmy. Whoa. The emo subculture, it's not about hating yourself. It's about being free to be who you are. And like, whenever I started getting into the subculture when I was like 12, I didn't like myself. I was trying really hard to fit in and that was stupid. So I was like... And I figured because I wore so much black and dark colors that Everyone would just ignore me. I don't even see normie kids. My vision completely goes past them. I only see the like edgelords, and it's the same for them. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I originally got to the alternative subculture, it wasn't that I was like, Ugh, I'm so dark, I'm gonna wear all black. <clears throat> it was more along the lines of, you know, if I dress like this, one, I'll feel badass. And two, it enabled me to be myself. I'm this really dorky kid. You know, everyone kind of thought I was weird and they were like, Bleh. Bleh. being in the alternative world, that's so accepted. I love it. I feel embraced in the arms of edgelords everywhere. It's, it's a good feeling. I think a lot of edgelords and emo kids are actually really dorky, fun people. And I think that's great. And if they're not, you know, I think they should get to a place where they can be dorky and have a fun time and go like, Wah! Master karate, beat up the schoolyard bullies. That's what we all want to do, am I right? That's what I wanted to do, but I, I never got around to it. But I was about to. I've decided I'd waited long enough to try to master karate. Dry the tears. In fact, I even made my own kata. Paint the face. Emo karate. Hey, emo kid, your memes are weak. I guess I can't be a karate kid. <laughs>